Hi there, my name is Caitlin Bandy and this is my channel Bandy's Books and today I am in San Diego for the holidays. This is uh, Stormy, my mom's cat. Uh, they have two cats actually, but Spike is off running around in the distance somewhere. Today's video is going to be about my road trip from Las Vegas to San Diego. We usually on the way to San Diego are under a time constraints. So we usually only stop at like one or two little free libraries along the way. So I've seen all of the little free libraries in the south part of Las Vegas and all of the little free libraries that are like in North County, San Diego and even into Temecula. But I've never got to stop like in the high desert or Riverside and check out those little free libraries. And honestly, there are a ton. So I decided that on this road trip from Las Vegas to San Diego, I was gonna do just that. And the reason I decided to do it this time is because I was coming down to San Diego a little bit early and Oz had to stay and work for another day or two. And then he's flying down later. So that gave me literally the entire day to take as much time as I wanted and stop at as many little free libraries as I wanted, which is great because I just did a massive clean out on my bookshelves and I had like 60 books to unhaul. So we're gonna go into some clips of my adventures from Las Vegas to San Diego. We're gonna be stopping in quite a few different cities. I'll show you all the little free libraries I found, what I left for them, and if I found any books to take on my own. The good news is I got rid of way more books than I brought with me. And then at the end, I'll show you what I found. have gotten some coffees and pastries we actually got a breakfast burrito and a coffee for Oz and we're gonna go drop that off because his work is like right by the freeway um, since we were rushing this morning and I didn't have time to pack him a lunch uh, so I just want to make sure he gets something to eat and then me and Luna will be on the road Luna even got a couple dog treats at the coffee shop so here is our first little free library I've got a couple books to drop off so we're gonna leave these here and see if we find anything interesting So we're at stop number two, and there is a book that I'm interested in taking. It is a book from the Man Booker Prize, um, A Brief History of Seven Killings. So I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna leave a couple books here. I have Ghosted and a couple next door. Um, I'm actually gonna see if we have a couple more books that we can leave because they have kind of a short supply here. Since this little free library is kind of empty, I decided I'm gonna add a couple extra books. I have Early Riser and um, a book by Isabel Allende. Um, so we're gonna leave four books here. That'll stock them up a little bit more on their adult books. So we are done with stops in Las Vegas. Uh, we are gonna now jump on the freeway and blast out through the desert. So I've got about two, two and a half hours of driving before I hit like Barstow area. I believe there's a couple little free libraries out there that we're gonna check out. I'm excited though. Um, I found a good book here at this little free library, A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. And this was a winner of the Man Booker Prize before they changed it to just the Booker Prize. Um, so I'm really interested to read this. This was a nice find. Um, I have still probably a good 50 or 60 books to get rid of. So we will be stopping at some of the little free libraries out in Barstow and then in the high desert in like Atalanto and Hesperia area. And then coming down into Riverside, we'll check a few more. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. We're gonna just enjoy some drive time. Luna is enjoying the scenery over here. I have a coffee and a croissant to eat. And yeah, we're just gonna mosey along to California. So at the first of the two little free libraries that I'm gonna check out, this is it behind me. It looks like they have mostly kids books. There's a few adult books in there. So I did drop off um, one adult book and then one young adult book. So um, we're now gonna head over to the second little free library. So I 
know about my second little free library here in Barstow. This one is from a young lady. I believe it said that she's a Girl Scout. And so she built a little free library. I'm gonna drop off a couple books and see what we have. So we tidied up the little free library a little bit and I added two books. I have one that's young adult and one that is adult science fiction. Super excited to see some good reads in here. Um, there is The Gentleman from Moscow um, by Amor Tolls, which is a book that I really, really love. So excited about that. And we are going to be headed out of Barstow now and the next stop will be in the high desert in Hesperia and Atalanto. There is a bunch of little free libraries up there as well. So we're gonna stop and drop off some books to them too. in Apple Valley which is kind of in the high desert on the way from Las Vegas to San Diego um, I think we're still about two and a half hours from San Diego if I remember correctly uh, there are quite a few little free libraries in this area uh, I've never had a chance to actually even drive through this part of the high desert which is really really nice um, but when I looked at the little free library map I was really surprised there's like six of them in this little community so we're gonna check a few of them out this is the first one So I dropped off two books, a Karen Slaughter book and Bonita Avenue, and then I found How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. I've only ever read The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, so I thought I would give this one a try. I realized I forgot to show all the books I was giving away, so I had this completely, this box here completely full. It was like up to here. I have this entire bag of books here, and then this box was also full. Um, so I think I've given away like 12 books so far. Um, still obviously have quite a few to go. So quite a few more stops. So this is our next stop here in Apple Valley. As you can see, this little free library behind me is really cool. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it in a little more detail, but we have uh, like a church building with steeples and there's a bunch of different little compartments on it. So I'm excited to open this up. So I went ahead and cleaned up the little free library and like organized everything so all of the shelves are a little more clear and I filled the sides in. Um, and then I also am leaving two books. I have a thriller and a Jodi Picoult book. Um, so hopefully they enjoy both of these. So we are at the next Little Free Library in Apple Valley. Um, I think there's actually, I thought there was originally six in this area, but there's like 10 of them. So I'm just gonna stop at a handful because I'm still halfway to San Diego and I would like to get there eventually. Um, but this one's super cute. We've got a nice display of books and some other goodies in there. So we're gonna check it out. And then I have a couple books to leave. I'm gonna leave Someday Maybe and A Good Marriage. So hopefully those work out well for this neighborhood. The next little free library it is a snoopy themed one and then they even have like a snoopy dog house next door to it it's super cute so i'm gonna leave a couple books i have um the woman in the window and uh jody picole's book uh the book of two ways so we're gonna pop those in there and be on our way so we are at the next little free library we're up in hesperia just about to drop down into riverside in a few minutes um so once we leave this one i think we're gonna be a straight shot for about an hour before we stop for another for this one and see what they have. All right, so I tidied this one up a little bit and I'm leaving two books. I have A Little Hope by Ethan Joella and Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. So hopefully they enjoy those. 
All right, so I actually found another little pocket here in Hesperia and Atalanta that has like four little free libraries within a mile of each other. So I'm gonna check out the four of these and then I am seriously gonna get on the road and not stop. Um, so I have Camp Zero and The Wife Between Us for this little free library and let's see what they have in their box. So we're here at the next little free library in Hesperia right before we head down into San Bernardino. There's two like just a couple blocks away from here that we're going to check out. Um, so I'm going to leave a book here as well and then head on to the next one. And I am on my final little free library stop up in the high desert. I have a couple books to drop off here. Something by Jodi Picoult and Anonym an Anonymous Girl. So um, we are going to put these in there and then we're going to hit the freeway and head down into Riverside. city of Fontana. This is in Riverside County and I'm just stopping at one little free library really quick. There's like literally a hundred in this area. Um, so I just picked the one that was closest to the freeway. We're going to drop off. I have a copy of the Wilder Woman here to drop off and uh, we'll see what they have in their library. are at our last little free library stop for this road trip. We are in Corona, California. So we're about an hour away, a little more than an hour away from San Diego. Um, so I wanted to check out this one. Um, as you can see, it's really nicely painted. Uh, from what I read online, the lady was inspired by her hobby of quilting. So she did like quilting patterns on her little free library. There's lots of books in there, so we'll see what she has. I'm gonna be leaving two books. I have The Death of Jane Lawrence, and then I have um, Crossroads. So I'm gonna drop those off and see if there's anything I wanna take. And then we're gonna get on the road to San Diego so that we don't hit all the rush hour traffic, because if you're not from California, rush hour in California is horrific, and we definitely don't wanna be stuck in that. As you can see, there were a ton of really cute little free libraries. I loved also like the scenery in the high desert with the storm clouds coming in and stuff. It was just really nice. Um, I was able to unhaul something like 60 books. And the good news is I only brought home four books with me. So here are the four that I found that I was interested in reading. I got How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. This is the author of The Midnight Library. For me, The Midnight Library was just so-so. Uh, so I'm going to give Matt Haig a second try just because I know a lot of people love his writing and you know not every single book resonates with every single person so maybe this one will resonate with me a little bit more than The Midnight Library did. And then I got A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. This is the winner of the Man Booker Prize so this was quite a while back when it was still called Man Booker Prize but this sounds really interesting to me. This book is about Bob Marley. There was an attack on him and his wife like seven days before this concert and um, he was wounded it sounds super interesting. This is not something that I actually know a ton about, but I'm really looking forward to getting into. Don't mind the cats meowing in the background. They are uh, off running around the house and begging for treats and whatnot. It's all the Christmas excitement. And then I found The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. This is one that I have been seeing everywhere. And I don't know, for a long time, I kind of avoided reading it just because, I don't know, it didn't really seem like my vibe. But a lot of people that I have similar tastes to have read it now and said that they really enjoyed it and it was a very surprising book. So I'm going to go ahead and read it as well and we'll see how that goes. And super excited, I found Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. So I have read Andy Weir's two other books um, and this is the only one that I have not read yet. I have really enjoyed his previous two books, so I think I'm going to enjoy this one as well. So I think that's a pretty good find. So all in all, a super successful road trip. Uh, usually it takes me about five hours to get from Las Vegas to San Diego. This time it took me about eight and a half. And that is just like I said, because I stopped at so many little free libraries, took a lot of time to unhaul books and just enjoy my time. Luna had a great time too. We walked around and she got to explore some new neighborhoods. So win-win. So that's the end of this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up, comment down below and let me know 
what, how do you unhaul your books? Do you try to sell them on Pango? Do you drop them off at little free libraries? Do you donate them to your local library used bookstore? Do you trade them with friends? What do you do to clean out your bookshelves? And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so that you never miss a video and that way we can see each other again soon. Thanks so much for joining, bye.